Welcome to this video in which we will be designing this part by using the forming tool in sheet metal and in this video we will learn how to use the forming tool in SOLIDWORKS. So let's begin. First click on file, click on new, select part, then click OK. And then select this front plane and click on sketch option. And here we need to select the center rectangle from here and make a center rectangle at this origin. Now select the smart dimensioning tool and specify the length of this line. Specify this length as 150 millimeter. And then specify the other length, this one, as 80 millimeter. Now let me adjust these dimensions. Okay, so now let's go to features and select this extruded boss base feature. And here in direction one, in blind option, we need to specify the thickness as 10 millimeter. And now change the background to plain white. And now let's specify some appearance. You can specify anyone, this is optional. Now select this face and click on sketch option and after that select a circle here rather select center line and from this midpoint to this midpoint make a center line again select the center line and from this midpoint to this midpoint make a center line and now select the circle command and make a circle here and now let's define this circle by using the smart dimensioning tool let's specify the diameter first so the diameter is 14 from this midpoint to this wall set the dimension as 15 and again from this midpoint to this corner specify the distance as 15 and now select this mirror entities because we want to mirror this circle so in this very window select the circle and in this window mirror about in this dotted line and here you can see the circle has been mirrored now let's select the mirror entities again in this window select these two circles and in mirror about select this vertical line and here you can see the circles have been mirrored okay now let's go to features, select this extruded ball space command and extrude these up to 5 mm and then check this box. Now let's define some color. Okay. And now select this fillet command and one by one select the faces of these smaller circles and here specify two millimeter here you can see and then check this box now select this face click on sketch option and here we are going to make a center rectangle at this origin now select the smart dimensioning tool Specify the length of this line as 82 millimeter and this line as 60 millimeter. And now select this fillet tool, select this midpoint, this midpoint, this midpoint, or we can select this line and this line in order to make this fillet as well. So here specify 10 millimeter. Uh, check this box here now select this extruded boss base and here we need to define 20 millimeter for extrusion and then simply check this box now select the fillet command again select this fillet command select this face and here define 2 millimeter 
for the fillet parameter select the fillet again and this time select this inner edge and here define 5 millimeter for the fillet parameter and then check this box and now we have to select this sheet metal from here so go to sheet metal and here select this forming tool that we are going to learn in this tutorial so in our first window this one we need to select this face and in our second window we need to select all of these smaller circle faces and simply check this box and we are done here now we have to save this file so save as and here we need to go to local disk C in case you do not have this folder program data then I will provide you the link in the description in order to see how you can make it visible so go in this program data and then find your SOLIDWORKS in bold letter select here the latest version of the SOLIDWORKS I have SOLIDWORKS 2022 so go in there and then select in this uh, design library we have to go in this forming tool option and here we need to save our part you can give it any name you like I am giving it forming tool 01 or forming tool one then cross this window from here and now open a new file new part file in select this uh, front plane click on sketch and select here center rectangle make a center rectangle at this origin select smart dimensioning tool and here specify 150 for the length and specify here 80 millimeter the same dimension that we have specified for the previous part then go to features uh, rather go to sheet metal and here select base flange specify the thickness here 1.5 is okay then check this box change the background to plain white define some appearance if you like this is optional then go to design library and in case you do not have this design library then I will provide the link in, in the description uh, you have to watch that video and you can import the design library from there and then go in this uh, design library expand this bar and then here you need to find forming tools and you have to drag it from here and now go to positions let's select smart dimensioning tool from this corner to this midpoint specify the distance as 75 because total length is 150 and from this midpoint to this edge select the smart dimension tool from this edge to this center point define the distance as 40 because the total length is 80 okay so now check this box and here we have our final part so we are done with this video if you find this tutorial helpful then please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos you can find the link in the description